Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer or a subscriber emailed me this, and he did a really good job of explaining what he wants to do. He wants to make this shape in the corners, but he wants to make it into a rectangle, and when he makes it lengthwise, it gets squished up. Um, I don't know 100% sure if this is the only way to do it, but this is the way I would do it. And it would work pretty well. Your shape is, for right now, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this 12 by 12, just to make it easier. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to get my two point line and hold down the control button and get a perpendicular line and then hit P. Now that is in the center. Now I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and I'm just going to select all that and I'm going to delete that side. Now I can delete my line. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button, I'm going to move the duplicate over. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 12 inches. I move it over 12 inches. I get my two point line. Let's zoom in here a little bit. The two point line will snap to that node. And it's that simple. Whoop. Let me zoom in on the bottom. Get our two point line. See it goes from node to node and actually snapping to it. You probably have to have snap to object on and this is his, actually his file. So let's just see if he's got snap to object on and he does. Now we're not quite done yet, but it's, we're, we're there. So now our object is somehow it's 11.9 by 24. So if that's what you wanted and you can make your nudge distance anything. You know, if you just wanted it 18 and just move it over, you know, six. Now just hit the weld key and all that's together. So this is one piece, one rectangle that will cut out if that's what he wants to do. Just for reference, I would make that red to I always make a cut line red just so I know. So our corner didn't change. Everything's worked. And a lot of times, and if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I use the Smart Fill tool instead of the Weld tool. And I'll see, we might have a leak. Or I might just got on the outside. I think we just I got on the outside of it. Nope. So this is a to me a better actually a way to instead of welding. Uh, see, you've got like nodes right there on our weld copy. You've got these two two nodes where we kind of joined them together. And on this one, you only really have one. So the the smart fill tool actually does a little bit better job. It doesn't really matter. Those are closed nodes, and they're not going to cause any problems. But anyway, that's one way to do it. I'm sure there's more than one way, but that's a, it's a pretty cool frame design. And I hope that helped him, and thank you for watching.